Hey guys, Crafty Coder here. Wanted to go over the uh, Arduino rotary encoder with Velocity Library I released today. It, as it sounds, it is an Arduino library for interacting with rotary encoders while taking into account the velocity with which the user turns the knob. If the user turns the knob slowly, it returns a 1 or a negative 1, uh, depending on if they turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, respectively. And if they turn it swiftly, it returns a number greater than positive 1 or less than negative 1, respectively. The size and speed at which that acceleration of return value happens is based on some integers you pass in when you instantiate the object. And uh, it's quite simple to use. I'll show it to you very briefly here. I describe uh, I describe the uh, variables at the top of the header file, and you can read it. And uh, then you can see how it actually works by looking at the C++ file, and it's. Uh, it's about 70 lines of code total, so it's not the smallest encoder library I've ever seen. But uh, it's very easy to use, and in, your, and in your sketch, if we want to look at the example, it's really quite small. So let's take a look at the sketch. And uh, here you include the header file and then you instantiate the object and then you say object at read encoder and that's it now you have your value uh, there's no pausing in the system so you're gonna have to put in your own software debouncing pause or I always do a hardware debounce so I put two uh, 10,000 picofarad caps from pins A and B to ground and uh, so one on A to ground and one on B to ground and that gets rid of any inconsistencies with the return value, so that makes it real clean. And uh, if you want to download it, you go to Downloads, Rotary Encoder Library. You download it, you open it up, click on the file, the folder in there, copy it to your clipboard, paste it to your program files Arduino Libraries folder. Then you can start up Arduino. If Arduino's already started, you need to restart it. Examples. Rotary encoder, velocity test. We can push that now to the Arduino. This is the same code I showed you earlier. It's up there. Now we'll open up a serial window. I'm gonna zoom in on the business end of this just a bit. So, we turn the knob, and we can turn it slowly. You can see it indexes in small amounts, but as you turn it faster, it moves faster. So we can go from zero to 4,000 in just one turn if we try. But also, we can turn it slowly, and it can take forever to get there. So that's the theory. Alrighty guys, enjoy.